Hi, welcome to episode 19 of the podcast. Today, I'm going to be talking about some things to think about when you're negotiating an offer or when you receive a job offer. And this is based off an article I wrote about four years ago. I will link to the article in the chat. Um, it's not chats, in the show notes. Okay, so when you get a job offer, especially maybe you're in like a position where you've been searching for a while or this is your first job offer, you can be so excited and it can all be so exciting and it's like, yay, a job offer. And you're like, and then it looks like a lot of money, right? Especially maybe if it's your first job or you've not been working for a while, it looks like, wow, money finally. And you can be tempted to just take it. But you shouldn't do that. So the first tip is to always wait before accepting an offer even if it's the best offer in the world even if it's what you have been waiting for all your life take a breath relax take some time to think about it before you accept it you have to carefully review it what does it say about other things that you think right now are not important or you don't really care for but could actually be so look at what it says about like benefits pension sick days leave days all these kinds of things and it may vary depending on the country you're in right so some things may be standard by law some things may be things that your company can add on look carefully at the salary what does it say in detail about um is it quoted as monthly annually net gross which i'll come to later but yeah just look at every single part of your contract and ideally have someone else look over it um maybe a lawyer ideally because especially when it comes to things like non-compete clauses non-solicitation clauses intellectual property and things like that you may be like oh most contracts are the same but it may be different depending on the company you're working with so definitely always take a breath and if it's possible request sometimes in a contract they will say oh not only the things you said in here but things in the employee handbook so request for the handbook and look at it to be sure that you're okay with the things that are in there because signing a contract is not just signing a sheet of paper it is legally binding most of the time um and depending on where you are right if it is something that is unreasonable a court may decide that this doesn't make any sense and you will not be held um onto onto whatever you signed but just to save yourself stress and energy and just be be sure that everything is in the clear always always have your offer reviewed and request for any additional documentation that is listed in the contract um be wary about when people are like you need to give us a response to this contract in like two days or something don't let that pressure you to accept something that you don't feel comfortable with ask all the questions you want which is the next step number two when you receive an offer always always ask questions negotiate ask questions about things you don't understand ask questions about um clarifying questions about anything ask questions about the salary can you get you can almost always get more than is quoted in the contracts like almost always you can get more um and a good tip that i've learned with negotiating is to always be willing to walk away that is the best negotiating tip I've ever found. And I talked about it in a previous episode is to always be willing to walk away because if you take something out of desperation, there's almost always regrets. And yeah, so um, be sure that you are satisfied to a large extent with what you have in the contract. And think about when it comes to negotiation, it's not always just about money or the salary at the end of the day think about um expanding the pie which is also another very important negotiating tip i've learned i remember one time i i was trying to get a lawyer to help me with facilitating the sale of something and they quoted a price that i couldn't afford and so i i gave them like a different way to look at it i was like if you can sell it at x amount i will give you x percent on top of the initial cash that i will pay you and then if you sell it at a lower amount than that, I'll give you a lower percentage. So they were even even more motivated to sell the thing at a higher price because I was going to give them a part of the sale on top of whatever fee I was going to pay them because I couldn't pay them the fee that they were asking for initially. So expanding the pie is such a great way to negotiate. 
Um, and when it comes to your contract, for example, can you, instead of salary, if you can't get more money, can you work four days instead of five? Can you get some additional stipend, a personal development fund, something? Would they pay for a certificate or a certification for you? And ensure that that is written in the contracts. Don't listen to audio. So now a final thing to consider when you are cons- negotiating an offer or considering an offer is to think about the deductions. Something that I always recommend to do is to ask for a breakdown of a sample pay slip, right? Like not just, you can say your salary is whatever amount gross, but then there are deductions and deductions always vary by company, country, all kinds of things. Especially if you're relocating, you don't know the all the things that you may you you may need to know to negotiate effectively so which is why back to earlier point you need to ask questions not just of the people who are offering your contract but other people who are more knowledgeable about the field the space the company the industry it's a ctc but back to deductions um i think that is very important to focus on what actually goes into your account at the end of the month and this is something that i i've always looked out for like every job offer i've gotten i've always asked for the net i never i like i don't really care about my gross income i want to just know what is entering my account at the end of the day and so um yeah there are deductions taxes pensions depending on where you live there may be health insurance deductions and other kinds of deductions that you may not be aware of and even things within the company that you're in so always look out for that um pay attention to what is being deducted and if possible, request for an example pay slip to see what your actual net salary will be at the end of the month if you're being paid monthly or if you're being paid fortnightly, whatever the timeline for your payment is. So, yeah. So, in summary, number one, always, always take a pause, take some time, request time to review and negotiate the offer. Sorry, request time to review. Um, make up a friend, a sibling, a parent, a lawyer. Make up somebody if you don't have anybody to like use as an excuse. <laughs> Your employer or potential employer doesn't have to know that the person is not real. But always make sure that you um, take some time to review an offer and get some help. That's the first first tip. The second tip is to always negotiate and ask questions. And the third tip is to think about the deductions in your offer. And yeah, I hope this helps thank you for joining me on today's episode of a couple of things if you enjoyed this episode or found any part of it insightful don't forget to share with your friends on your social media and be sure to leave a comment or a review if you can on your podcast listening app thank you